Russians are on high alert. They are preparing 11 airborne divisions, do you understand? Do you think I don't know that? Let me tell you about the Russians, Henry. When I was a child in Ukraine, at Christmas time, my father would board up the windows of our house Golda. to protect us from Cossacks who would get drunk and attack Jews. They would beat Jews to death in the street for fun. My father would hide us in the cellar. And we'd stay silent, hoping the killers would pass us by. My father's face, Henry. I will never forget that look. All he wanted was to protect his children. I am not that little girl hiding in the cellar. Mm. That is Helen Mirren in her role as Israel's only female prime minister, Golda Meir, talking there to Liev Schreiber, by the way. It's been 50 years since Meir led her country through the Yom Kippur War when Egyptians and Syrians invaded Israel. At least 2,500 Israeli troops died in the 19 days of fighting. The new film, Golda, illustrates how the 1973 conflict took a devastating toll on Meir personally and, of course, on her country. Joining us now... Oscar award-winning director Guy Nativ and Golda Meir's grandson Gideon. Good morning to you both. It's great to have you. Um, Guy, I have to start with Helen Mirren. We are just talking about how wonderful she is personally and what an extraordinary actress she is. How did she come to this role and this piece of Golda Meir's story? Because it is, you know, about this moment in time. Well, um, you know, when I joined the project, uh, Helen was already cast uh, as I think that uh, Gideon was the first one who thought about uh, Helen as his grandmother. He said, I see Helen, I see my grandmother. Mm -hmm. And Helen did her research. First of all, she was 29 when she toured the country, toured Israel. She volunteered in the kibbutz, kibbutz Haon in Israel, picked tomatoes when she was 29. It was 1967. So she was you know, connected to Israel from, from her youth. Um, and I think that when she came to the role, she was full of admiration to Golda. You know, she read everything about Golda. She, she was really, um, she read the script and she immediately she said yes. And Gideon, what was it like to see Helen Mirren finally in full makeup giving that performance, looking almost exactly like your grandmother? Uh, it was uh, very thrilling and, um, it's a very powerful movie, and the script is so well written. And uh, uh, Golda was one who uh, would say very clear things, sometimes in very few words. She was incredibly articulate in that way. And I think that uh, Nick Barton and the script really captures. And um, Helen Mirren is incredible. I was sure she's uh, she would be the one for it. That's why I suggested uh, to Nicholas to approach her, and I was sure that she would uh, really embrace this with a lot of commitment and love. Guy, the uh, the clip that we came in with uh, it's today. <clears throat> she's from Kiev, originally from Kiev in in the Ukraine. And she is a portrait of incredible strength in this film. And uh, her nature comes across in this film, especially with regard to Moshe Dayan, an, a, an iconic Israeli hero who takes kind of a reputational hit in this movie. And yet she nurtures him through this crisis on a day-to-day -day basis. Yes, I mean, Moshe Dayan lost it completely. I mean, this, this hero that, you know, considered Israel like the Superman of Israel after the Six-Day six day War completely lost it. And she was the grown-up in charge. She basically took over and said, listen, let's, let's take it step by step. You go home, take two days off, and I'll take over. She was the grown-up in charge. And you have to understand, this is a country after the Six-Day War, the Hebrews, the, the, the Israeli Hebrews after mm -hmm. this, they, we are the kings of the Middle East, but they got a giant slap. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's where the entire command um, fell, fell, and she was like, she took over. Mm -hmm. uh, Guy, I'm curious, uh, by the way, Helen Mirren, just amazing uh, <clears throat> as, you know, someone who celebrates women over 50 reaching their greatest impact and highest success. She just keeps killing it, and she's 
amazing in this. I'm wondering what you were hoping to accomplish with this movie and what stories or messages you were hoping to send that you, we haven't read in news clippings over the years or in books. You know, first of all, I want to say that um, Golda Meir was the pariah of Israel. She, she was the scapegoat of this war. They blamed her. It was very easy to blame uh, an older lady, you know, all the misogynist uh, um, commanders. Mm -hmm. uh, she took the blame. There was a giant photo of her on, on the Newsweek of Israel saying the debacle. She resigned. She took responsibility. But, it, you know, when the declassified documents came out 10 years ago, we understood that she was not the one to blame. She was not only the one to blame, and there was a a full of, uh, you know, failures around her. Um, so this movie is a little bit clearing her name, you know, um, and giving the right perspective 50 years after this war. And also, let's, let's remember this woman paved the way to other women after her. We're talking about Margaret mm -hmm. Thatcher, Angela Merkel, Hillary Clinton. I mean, she was a pioneer in her time. She was an amazing woman, and this film celebrates that. Although, of course, Israel hasn't had another female prime minister since. Gideon, the, the film shows your grandmother who was battling cancer during this period and, you know, smoking like a chimney nonetheless. What do you remember about her during that period and the kind of incredible stress she must have been under? Yes. Well, I, I have to be frank and... Um, uh, Golda was not as ill during the, the war as she's portrayed in the film. Mm -hmm. And um, the other thing is that she did not go any treatments during the war. So since this film is not a documentary but a drama, a very fine drama, I think that uh, this poetic license is okay. But but the truth of the matter is that she wouldn't have gone for treatments during the war. And she had an incredible, uh, her body was, um, she was on the one hand incredibly powerful and resilient and strong. And on the other hand, she had very severe uh, medical problems. And I think, you know, um, her commitment and her heart and her spirit really took over. And uh, the, the footage of her uh, walking in the sands in the Sinai and being so strong for the troops <laughs> is really an incredible document. And I'm very happy that it was used in the film in the way it was. Well, Helen Mirren is extraordinary, in it, and the film is as well. It's called Golda. It is in theaters nationwide this Friday. Guy Nativ, Gideon Meyer, thank you both thank for being so here. Much. Congratulations on thank the you. film.